Hi everybody, I'm Justice and with me is Leo and today is Thursday, April 13th and uh, today at 2.45 we begin April vacation. Here's what's been happening this week inside LHS. This has been Spirit Week on the LHS campus. The Student Advisory Council members coordinated the event which featured Blue and White Day on Tuesday, Crazy Hair Day on Wednesday and today is Dress to Impress and Dress Like a Professional Day. Each school decorated the halls in their schools and at lunch time there was a photo booth, face painting and corner ice to enjoy. LHS seniors this week saw the first of many senior related activities that will be happening between now and graduation. University cap and gown came to school to measure seniors for their graduation caps and gowns. They will be back again after vacation on April 26th and April 28th. The cost is $17 and is payable on the day you get measured. When we come back from vacation, seniors will, ha will have just five weeks of school left. The prom is happening on May 12th. The tickets are on sale right now. The cost is $80 for a single and $150 for a couple. Look for the prom ticket card in the CAF to get your prom tickets. Senior exams take place on the fourth week of May. Senior week begins on May 30th. Among the things that are happening that week, our trip to Six Flags and graduation rehearsal. And the thing everyone is waiting for is graduation night on June 2nd at 6 p.m. If you haven't yet paid your class dues, get to it so that you can, so that you can participate in the senior activities. Today, is the LHS juniors, today, LHS juniors attend the Spring College Fair. The College Fair, which is sponsored by Gear Up, gives LHS juniors a chance to, give, to get into thinking about college and the fact they will be seniors in less than two months. Juniors will be also be taking the uh, June 3rd SAT to get ready for the college application process. Lancer Spring Sports are in action this action, and then this week has had some great weather for sports action. On Monday of this week, the girls softball team lost a tough one, and boys volleyball beat Methuen. Check out the Lancer Sports schedule by going to the LPS website and clicking on Athletics. Up next is this week's edition of Living the Vida Lancer. We talked to one of LHS seniors who looks back on, the, on his high school career. Another uh, Lancer English teacher remembers how it was when she was in high school. Then you get a chance to meet one of the LHS school nurses. And finally, a video about a, an LHS graduate who's rocking the mic as a local radio DJ. All of them are Living the Vida Lancer. Jerry Martinez and I graduated this year, 2017. Uh, I've been in the school three years so far, uh, for my freshman year and my so and my junior and senior year. My sophomore, I spent it in New York, uh, in Brooklyn Lab School. So far, my high <laughs> yeah. so far my high school life, it's uh, it's it's been kind of easy. I didn't, didn't really do much freshman year. Freshman year was just an easy pass. Sophomore year was an easy pass. Junior was, again, an easy pass. It's, now it's just senior year, my last year to get out. So far being a senior, well, it's kind of, it's been kind of easy. Just got, it's just the work so far. Also, I'm being a Lancer. We have a good community, good love, good sportsmanship, and stuff for the football team. What I like about Lawrence High, well, I guess it's the time we get out of school. The last school's gonna get out this early. I'm not really looking at any colleges right now because of the fact that I'm going to Marines instead. But maybe decide that I want to join the military. It's the fact that, uh, one, I'm not gonna do that much uh, being here, staying behind the desk for four years, when I could be over there making more money and at the same time to pay for my tuition to go to college. And they're also paying for me to travel. Basically, discipline, you know, a lot of disciplinary stuff, lots of, lots of, you know, a lot of benefits that they give us. Pretty much, one, it's money. That's probably the main reason. Two, uh, they'll pay for my, they'll, they'll pay for my college. So whenever I'm, like, whenever I'm in the military and I want to do schooling at the same time, they'll pay for it. Favorite class, none. If I also have a favorite teacher, though, Oh, we miss a McDonald. He's a good teacher. Make sure drawing. It's a good class. You see, there's a, it's a lot about drawing uh, and stuff like that. Right now, uh, we just made like we just, we just made 
portraits and stuff. Like pictures, so let's take pictures and we do those pictures. And then to draw right now we're doing is starlights. Right now we have to draw certain objects and stuff. They basically are arranged on a table like let's say for example like just like light parts you gotta draw that dark parts pretty much you gotta draw all details it's kind of nice to see that new people's I mean, new people in the hallways people that I met who they just started talking to the only thing is is the every time the bell rings how cramped the hallways are Trying to get to lunch is a uh, pretty much a big hassle if you're on the other side of the building, like if you're in PFA. Mm -hmm. The message I'd like to leave is basically, well, try and make it through. It's just, four years might seem long, but once you're right there at the final year, you think back to each other and you say, wow, that was fast. Oh, try hard throughout all four years. If you're trying to go to college, you want to try your hardest. You don't want to slack on that. If you're, going to, if you're going to any type of the military branch, don't slack on that either. What we gotta do to get by? Singing here? Yo, half fun. Half fun, this, this is your last year. You just worry about your finals, your SATs. If you're going to college, do your applications. If you're going to the Marines, take your ass back. Any type of military branch, do what you gotta do. Just try to make it out. Freshman, sophomore, junior. Good luck with the remainders of your years. Seniors, good luck with that one month left you got. Make the best of it. softball team and later on I was a cheerleader and I was on the yearbook and I was the editor of my school newspaper. Uh, just to get to the next one. Yeah, I would say that I got more focused and I actually got goals. It's a hard question. I think, like, perspective-wise, you know, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between kids today and the way we were. You know, I feel like it's easy to empathize. I think a big difference today is that with your phones and your technology, it allows you to kind of communicate in a different way and research and understand things in a different way. So we had to be a little more independent and do things on our own, learn how to speak to people, learn how to make plans, learn how to get places. Um, also, if we wanted to research, um, you know, we had to like go out and find a book and go to the library and, and do stuff like that. So I think it made us, maybe the way we, we developed was different, but I think our needs were the same. I think, you know, I don't think anything has changed that much in terms of like, kind of just trying to figure out who you are and trying to, you know, be good and, and do your thing. Oh my gosh, yeah, I think I would try to be braver. Um, I think I was really easily intimidated when I was a kid and now that I look back at it, I feel like I let too much affect me or too many people push me in the way that you know they thought was good um, and it took me a really long time to figure out who I was and what direction I wanted to go in magical words of wisdom um, that I don't say in class every day um, I would say that you're stronger than you know and that the best thing you could possibly do, whether it's here at school or if you have an opportunity once you graduate to go away, is to really figure out who you are because people will try to get you to help out 
all over the place and helping sounds like a good thing, but it can really be a restriction in how you find out who you are. So I think find yourself and have the confidence to know you got this. So I went to Methuen High. I graduated in 2003. Um, I think my senior class was 400 and something students. It was, it was a big school, but we had a different type of setup in our school. We had open classrooms, so there was no walls. Um, which made it a little bit difficult for every everybody. You kind of were you were either in the middle of a hallway or you were along the sides, um, but you could hear everybody's classes going on. There was no, nothing was quiet. Everything was loud. We had a class called College and Careers, where it was I think once a week if I can remember for an hour and sh the teacher would have all these pamphlets for all these colleges and books and we would just go through them figure out what we want to do where we'd want to apply and um, they would help us with the process um, it had its stressful times uh, depending on classes some had a heavier workload than others um, I don't really remember having a lot of homework to do at home, um, but managing time, I just, I did my homework when I got home. I did work a part-time job um, starting my junior year in the mall, so uh, that was tough to manage your job and your homework and to get in all your studying, um, but you, you learn as you go. So being a school nurse is different than any of the nursing I'm used to. I'm used to working in a hospital with um, sick babies. I come from children's. Um, so school nursing is definitely different, but I do enjoy it. I like working with the adolescents and the high school age kids. So I used to work at Holy Family. It was my very first job at a nursing school on their cardiac floor. And I always knew I wanted to work with kids, so I stuck with cardiac and just applied at Boston Children's onto their cardiac floor. And I got an interview and got in. They have to learn to self-advocate for themselves regarding their health care. They're going to be going into college and your, their parents aren't going to be there for them. So they need to learn and navigate the health system and what they need to do, how to make doctor's appointments. They need to learn about health insurance. I didn't know I always wanted to be a nurse specifically, but I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field. I always loved watching this stuff on TV, um, anything. I really, my dream was to actually work in an operating room. Um, as a kid, I loved all the guts and blood and all that stuff. It's still my favorite. Um, but I always, I did always know I wanted to work in the medical field. I graduated from Lawrence High School in 2007. Um, my plans were to go to college and play baseball in college and hopefully go pro. I went to Northern Essex Community College. My major was business administration. Um, I ended up being a radio personality by mistake. I um, was invited uh, to come to a show, but only just as a, I was just gonna sit in the couch and watch everybody do the show. And it happens that the DJ that day was missing and I had my laptop on me and I just jumped in and, and I did the show together with the host of the show. They liked the way I I was, you know, talking in the air and the way that I was sounding. And um, they asked me to come back the next Saturday, the next Saturday, and then I became a regular. I was so nervous. My hands were sweaty and I was stuttering a lot. I do a morning show from 6 in the morning to 10. And it affects the community in many ways because um, 
Everybody, um, when they're driving to their jobs, um, when they're going to school, they're listening to the show and they get all the information. They are trendy. You know, if there's a school cancellation, if there was any type of major crime, if there's any um, big event, positive big event in the community, they get to tune in. And also it's a talk show so people get to laugh and forget about, you know, most of their problems. Well, we do many stuff. We do we do a lot of fundraising and uh, sometimes that we've been doing uh, throughout the years is um, I don't know if you notice that there's been a lot of um, fires in the in the community people losing all their belongings and stuff like that we've been doing uh, fundraisers at uh, McDonald's and stuff like that to raise uh, um, money and try to help these families and also we give away a lot of um, when it comes to school and like around September we gather most of our sponsors and we go to different places and we give out uh, book bags notebooks pencils you know anything that it can help the kids and their parents um to go to school and actually make it easier because you know we live in a in a poor community and uh, a lot of parents don't have the resources to provide everything that the, the the kids need for for school and my best advice is take advice from people that you know they are successful don't take advice from from your friends that are not doing anything with their life take uh, advices from your parents they are the ones that are gonna want the best from you and always go with your instincts don't go with anybody else's idea trust in yourself and always try to do the best you can and try to be number one it's, it's, it's not a competition but always compete with yourself be better than when you were yesterday thanks to producer justin goulet for the interview with J jerry Youssef gunsever and alicia ortiz who, produ who produced the interview with mrs longo nathaniel camillo who talked to school nurse d coke and gerald Lerano for his interview with Power Radio personality J. As we said on the top of the news, we start April vacation at the end of school today. Tomorrow is Good Friday and school is, th is closed for that reason. Actually, April vacation will run through April 17th through April 23rd. Classes resume on May Monday, April 24th. That will do it for this week inside the LHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great vacation. We'll see you in two weeks when it will be April 28th. Bye. Peace. Okay, so I wanted to participate in Spirit Week. Happy Easter. She's into superstitions, black cats and blue dogs. Very cherry. It's so good. Hey guys, to do your hair too.